Yo, what to do, YouTube? It is your boy, Coach Talk, back with another video. And this is the draft reaction to all the players we just acquired out of the NFL draft and pre draft. But thank you guys for coming through, through this video. Thank you guys for the support on the last video, and that's still going. Um, if you are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well. Comment in the comment section. I see all your comments, um, whether good or bad. So I will react to some of you guys if you have questions or if you just want to react. Uh, so this is the draft recap. Um, the first pick of the draft that we picked up was DeForest Buckner. Uh, we gave that pick away just to acquire him and add him to the defensive line, which was a good move because DeForest Buckner just came off that Super Bowl run with the 49ers, and he is a beast um, put in the right system. I think he would be nice, especially with the Colts and what we got already on that front. So that would be a good addition. And the second pick, we got Michael Pittman Jr., the wide receiver. He's very tall, um, just like as tall as Devin Funches. Um, it's a good acquisition. Um, in the last last video, I forgot the name of the person that asked me um, to look at his YouTube videos, but I'm definitely going to look towards that. I'm the highlight film. Um, I'm an LSU fan when it comes to football for college, um, but I would definitely look at all the draft acquisitions tapes. Um, the, the ones that they showed during the draft aren't really credible enough, so I kind of looked through YouTube and looked through all the scouting reports myself. Um, that's what I did for Deion Cain, even though he went to LSU, but... Um, after that, we went up and got Jonathan Taylor right after that pick. Um, that was a big move for us, a backup running back for Marlon Mack. It's a good acquisition. Uh, now we have a dual threat, like a real dual powerhouse threat in the backfield. Um, before that, it was Mack Hines and Wilkins. Wilkins is very explosive, but I feel like Jonathan Taylor is going to have that edge, and he's going to beat both of them at that position for the backup running back spot, or he might start. Depends on how the season goes. Um, but Mack and Taylor is the running back duo for us now, which is really good. Uh, moving on down from there, we got Julian Blackman um, on the defensive end. Um, he's a good acquisition, just coming off the ACL injury. Um, it's a little skeptical. I want to see how he's going to develop during the season, how he's recovering from that, and how he's going to play into the death with Malik Hooker and the rest of those guys back there. Um, so that's a good acquisition. We did need a safety, and we wound up getting one early. Better than late. Um, after that, we got uh, Jacob Eason, which is a surprise pickup for me because we were just talking about quarterbacks um, and how I felt like there weren't any really that was a starter-wise left in the draft after all the good ones were gone. Um, Jacob Eason was talked about uh, recently a lot in the draft, uh, but they were skeptical of him, his uh, draft poll dropping, and which it dropped to us in the fourth round, which was a pretty surprising pick for us. So now that leaves us with... Philip Rivers, Jacob Brissett, Jacob Eason, and Chad Kelly. Um, I feel like Jacob Brissett is going to get traded. So um, either traded or released, either or. Um, hopefully we don't get rid of Chad Kelly because the guy has potential. He just couldn't stay out of trouble. But I feel like we should just get rid of Brissett, get the captain of the way, and go get Jadavion Clowney. If we get rid of him, I feel like we'll go get Clowney. That's what it's looking like, but I'm no wizard here. Um... So we will see how that goes. If we don't get Clowney, I really wouldn't care. But him added to the defense would be a nice addition, just saying. Um, other than that, we went down and went and got an O-line to center. Uh, Danny Pinter, um, an offensive, offensive lineman, a backup center for Ryan Kelly. Um, <clears throat> Danny's going to be a good backup for us. He can learn so much from Quentin Nelson. He already said it. He's trying to learn from him. And I ain't mad at him. Uh, if any person we get for our offensive line is trying to learn from Quentin Nelson, that is a good pickup. So um, we definitely got rid of him, and we didn't get rid of him. We got him in the draft. He was trying to learn from Quentin Nelson. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so then after that, in the sixth round, we picked up a defensive tackle. We had talked about that as well. Uh, Robert Windsor is a now official Colt. In the sixth round, we picked him up. This draft was really graded for me. I would give it a B because we hit all the targets that we wanted, and we got it all in the draft. So in ballot, we trust is looking very strong at the moment. So after him, we picked up a corner in Isaiah Rogers after we traded away Quincy Wilson. Last video, I talked about that. Um, so you guys can see that video before clicking this one, or you can click it after either or. Just go ahead and show support. Um, so we picked up Isaiah Rogers um, and replacements for Quincy Wilson that went on to the Jets with, uh, this year. Um, so that was attacked. We went up and got another tall wide receiver after that because we had back-to-back -back picks. And we got Des Desmond Patton, 
Desmond Patton's another tall wide receiver. This is the first time we got tall wide receivers in the draft, really. <clears throat> back to back. So I would love to see how that would go with Phillip Rivers. Like I said, we are in win mode. So all these positions that we're picking up in the draft, I hope they do really good. And when the season comes in the preseason, we can actually see some development and see some work from, the, from these guys. And the last pick, we got Jordan Glaslow, a linebacker, which was definitely needed in the linebacker core that we have. Due to last season, it was just so many injuries and it was bad. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't mind taking the linebacker out of the draft. I really wouldn't. All these position fill-ins and add-ons is basically just adding depth. So I'm, I'm not mad at these picks at all. Jacob Eason, like I said, we could have waited <clears throat> and got another quarterback next year. But if they're going to make a move with Jacoby Brissett or something, I understand it. But like I said, he's just going to be sitting on the bench and developing and learning while the players are on the field, like Phillip Rivers, he's just going to be watching. And hopefully he can analyze and become better so when his time is here, he can be a future quarterback, like a leader. Um, but I'm not mad at any of these picks at all. My favorite one out of all of them was Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor was the, my favorite pick out of the whole draft. Um, between him and, I will say, well, the first two picks, well, him and Michael Pittman Jr., those are the top two picks. If you ask me who I wanted out of the draft, I'm just being biased. I will take that as Moss. Um, from LSU. He was very explosive at the end of the season and in the playoffs for LSU. And I feel like he would have been a nice addition for us, even though I'm being biased. But he is a good player. Um, let me know. And he still didn't get picked up yet. So, you know, uh, you can, you're can you never going to lose hope. So you guys let me know in the comment section, what would you grade our draft? Who would you want in the draft that's still there? Or who do you wish we could have got? And then you let me know... Um, any future free agents that's still out there, who would you guys want? Just get active in the comment section. I see all your comments, like I said earlier, and I definitely do respond to them. I would appreciate all you guys' support. And until next time, I can't wait for the season to come back. Shout out to the NFL for actually still hosting the draft. They're doing a great job with that. Until next time, Coast Nation, signing out. Peace.